kind of hot on the streets. I like to just put it out there like that. You know, the, you know, the ladies and, and, and me, you know, you find yourself in... in, in <laughs> Sometimes we see eye to eye, and then sometimes she's just right. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Today we're going to talk about something that's near and dear to every relationship, and that's brutal, brutal honesty. honesty. And we're not talking about, hey, honey, you look nice today, or hey, don't wear those pants. We're talking about things that you think might make your partner uncomfortable. We all have compassion and we, we care about our partners. So we don't want to hurt their feelings, but sometimes you want to say things that they may not want to hear and then vice versa. So that's what we're going to talk about today. The most brutally honest thing Ephraim has ever said to me is that it was a struggle for him to remain faithful. And when he first said that to me, I was like, oh, Ouch, that hurts. What am I supposed to take from that? And then we communicated with that man and really he was saying, as a man in the position that I've been in and with the career that I've had, the opportunities that are presented to me as far as women are concerned were abundant. Like I could do anything I wanted basically. And so now for me to be in a monogamous relationship, the opportunities still sometimes present themselves and it's a conscious decision not to do that. When you get married, people are under the assumption that they give you a pill <laughs> that makes you no longer attracted to any other person on the planet Earth, which is false. Not just for men, but for women too. Please don't act like we haven't been out somewhere and someone's walked across the street and Say I'm what? Like, well, baby, look at you. You looking at somebody else out there? <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't just apply to them, it applies to us as well. We don't, it doesn't just turn off because we're married. Look, we're humans. We are attracted to attractive people. You are beautiful. I, I'm attracted to a beautiful woman, so there are other beautiful women out there, but this is the only beautiful woman that I want to be with. And so when I was explaining that to her, I say, look, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge I'm willing to step up to and I'm willing to conquer because it's worth it. Now, if you're not willing to step up to that challenge and deem it worth it to not go out there and, and cheat or see other people, then you don't belong in a relationship. That's something that you really have to come to terms with individually before you even go into a relationship. I learned to appreciate him even having those conversations with me because it made me then see, like, see it all the way through and see the other side of it. Not just that it's a challenge for him to be faithful, but now why it's a challenge and how he's willing to step up to that challenge. Things like that just strengthen your relationship. So yes, I know it's a challenge, but let's talk about why you're taking that challenge on and why I'm important enough to you for you to take that challenge. I've been in situations where my job, what I do, the person that I was when I was playing, it puts me in position to where I'm kind of hot on the streets. Whenever something comes up, whenever I'm out somewhere or on a trip and someone approaches me, I come home and I talk to her about it. I just want to be open and honest as possible. I say, look, I was hot on the streets today. <laughs> that lets her know that they were checking for me. And most people won't have that conversation when they come home nah. because they're afraid of what type of feelings that will bring out in their partner. And when you weigh the two options about which is worse, I would much rather him come home and have the conversation with me so we can talk about that as a couple. The most brutally honest thing Renice ever said to me, we're driving down the street and I just hear, ugh, <laughs> what's up babe, what's going on? She was just like, the thing I miss is that meeting someone some, that, that energy you get when you meet someone new and you're not sure about that, the chemistry and you, you guys are maybe gonna share a first kiss. And I was thinking to myself, well, I can never give you a first kiss again. Uh, so where does that leave me? And we literally had a hour, two hour conversation. When you get married, you miss the spontaneity that sometimes leaves because you have a routine to stick to or you have your jobs and your lives. And those are things that are exciting in your life. And so there, of course, there were moments where I was like, oh God, just a first kiss. I'm never gonna have another first kiss again. And those things are so passionate, passionate and exciting. <laughs> what happens is the more you suppress it, the bigger the urge becomes. You talk about it, you air it out, you have the conversation and you realize, I, this is why I love you. This is why I don't need to go make out with someone else because we have this. I don't need this anywhere else. I have this with you. Let's review the game plan. Being brutally honest, but not malicious. That's very important to know how to speak to your partner so it's conducive to both of you guys' relationship. 
please like this video and share your comments with us. Let us know what the most brutal thing you've ever said to your partner is and how that worked out for you. Leave your comments below and we will see you next time. Bye. Ciao, bella. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.